The solution lay in three key architectural innovations that form the secret of Rome's great monuments. The most important is the arch. The arch is an almost perfect design for bearing heavy loads, and that design is so simple. A series of wedge-shaped blocks is assembled together in a semicircular form and supported on top of two pillars at the side. The weight of the building is absorbed by the keystone in the center of the arch and distributed evenly over the entire span of the arch and then down into the two side pillars. This allows the pillars to bear enormous loads and because the space in between the pillars is empty, this reduces the weight of the building even further. The arch would become a reoccurring theme throughout the building of the Colosseum. On the outer ring, 80 gigantic arches, 23 feet high, form a giant ring around the perimeter. On top of these is set another 80 arches. On top of these is a third tier, making 240 arches in all. The Colosseum really is nothing but arches. It's a symphony of arches. The organization required to achieve this feat of engineering was phenomenal. But even here, Rome's engineers had a trick or two up their togas. For them, building was a business of mass production. Standardization is key for the efficient building of the Colosseum. For example, the Romans used the arch, and the arch is repeated again and again and again by countless teams of builders. And that kind of standardization is very akin to what we have in an industrialized world today. So the breaking down of the building allows them to have lots of work gangs with not huge skills. They just have to simply build an arch. In this way, the thousands of laborers working on the Colosseum could be left to build their section with minimal supervision, confident in the knowledge that their labors were being repeated all over the structure. You're going to have a lot of unskilled laborers you're going to have a lot of bricklayers. You're going to have a lot of people that have some sort of skill, uh, but they're not going to be required to know more than a whole lot. Then you're going to have a lot of skilled laborers, the people that are going to be carving the columns, the people that are going to be carving the statues that are going to go in the niches in the upper floors. So you're going to have a lot of skilled craftsmen. You're going to have a lot of unskilled people participating in this very massive and important construction site. Jim, Jim, Jim. Just making sure that each work gang was in the right place at the right time and doing the right thing was a challenge in itself. 